Alrighty guys, as you keep bringing us into the Dragon Ball Legends video, so hopping out fresh from the reveals and stuff, special edition, aka the anniversary, fourth anniversary edition, let's go ahead and get through everything that we're getting before I kind of go on a rant right here and within the, the first three minutes. Alright, so we are going to be getting the, the giveaway summons up to 400 free summons. Make sure you guys do log in every single day. These are some of the characters that you can receive from those free summons right here. Most notably, the best units being these two center ones, Super Vegito and Revival Frieza. Revival Frieza probably is going to be aging the best right here, but Super Vegito is also extremely good. We are also getting the Super Login Bonus of Ultimate Gratitude, which is going to have steps on it. You can kind of make this similar. It's kind of akin to Dokkan Battle where they do the, um, the, the New Year's banners, right, where it's kind of like a tier system on step one there's going to be units like lf goten step two will be vegeto blue step three will be gogeta four and there is a step four obviously there's going to be a lot of cc and a lot of special events they have already um announced that they're going to be giving us f over like basically like 4,000 cc right that's this is just a given we're also getting the super scout battles going ahead and returning for whatever characters you want to go ahead and you can kind of see that it's pretty much all top related but my boy goten did make the cut which is i mean it's all right we are also getting the return of the anniversary Hoi Poys, which is always going to be welcome. Hoi Poys should just be something that remains in the game until the end of time. We are going to be getting the chance time once again. I, I really do not care for this at all. I don't know if you guys do. It's kind of just based off luck. And once again, Shenron is going to be returning. You can go ahead and exchange codes, like the QR codes with your friends, so you can go ahead and collect the Dragon Balls in exchange for some pretty decent rewards, which does include the 1000 CC, or for the collectors out there, you guys can get something else where, where it's like a, a title, I do believe, right? I think one of the years was like Master Roshi's, his little like pervert book or something like that. These guys are confirmed to be free-to-play units. This Krillin, this Goku, and this Tien. Unfortunately, we have seen no sign of Master Roshi, so he better come in a sparking form at some point or another. And we are also getting a free-to-play sparking Super Saiyan Gogeta. So in case you guys didn't know, this guy has been in the game files for such a long time. And we are finally going to be having him as an obtainable character. We're also getting the return of the anniversary surprise you where you can get a character of your choice only a one time thing right here. I'll probably make a future video on who's going to be the best unit to choose. Who's probably going to be the best aging unit out of all these. We're also getting a new extreme battle. It's supposed to be a very high difficulty. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to this. Of course, we're also going to be getting the world challenge raids and stuff like that. I am expecting a lot of events throughout this entire anniversary. So now essentially the meat and bones of this, we are getting a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, just a regular sparking, and a Legends Limited Ultra Instinct Goku. And last but not least, a Zenkai Awakening for Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. So that's essentially all that we have right here. Let's go ahead and talk about it. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about it, and I'm going to tell you guys first off that I'm a little bit disappointed, right? Because um, one of the first things I did today was I woke up, I went on Reddit, I like, I, I frequent the Dragon Ball Legends subreddit, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. But uh, one of the first things I saw was some leaks for the anniversary of what was going to go down, what was going to be announced right here on the reveals and stuff. And, you know, I read through them and I was like, okay, well, I, I kind of don't believe any of this, right? I just can't be 100% fact, but as the, the reveals and stuff went on and on, you could tell that you, you could sh slowly but surely see that it was going into that direction where it's like, oh my god, the leaks were all correct. Everything that was leaked for fourth anniversary has all came true, bro. It, it's it's kind of, it's a little disappointed because it's like, how, how are you supposed to maintain the hype if you know everything that's coming? And the thing that I was looking forward to the most, because I was like, okay, well, we know MUI Goku's coming, but what about banner number two? That is what I'm going to be looking forward to the most then, because it has to be something that rivals MUI Goku. And then we ultimately did not get, <laughs> we did not get it. We didn't get it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real honest with you guys though. I am still very, very hopeful. I'm very, very optimistic for part two. That's where I'm going to really put all my hype and I'm going to play like, because we know nothing about part two, but we can only assume that it's going to be revolving around Dragon Ball Super, superhero. So that's where I'm going to put all of my eggs in. That's, that, that's, that's what I'm looking forward to the most at this point in time. I'm still excited for this anniversary, but it's a little disappointing to already know what's going to be getting handed to you. And it, it was a kind of... Uh, a little bit frustrating, right? So let's go ahead and talk about the said frustrations. So first of all, Super Saiyan Vegeta, right? So he's a defense type. He actually looks pretty good. We can go through what he does. So his Z ability, uh, Z ability looks crazy, right? His Z ability looks crazy. 30% to tag Vegeta clan. 
or episodes survival saga based strike and blast defense and another 15 percent of characters that are both universal survival saga and tag saiyan based strike defense right he applies the following effects himself when this character enters the battlefield he draws a special arts card 30 percent to damage inflicted reduces damage received by 20 percent 60 percent to key recovery and every time when hit with the enemy strike blast special move ultimate or awakened arts while this character is on the battlefield he reduces enemy key by five 15% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts, and he also applies the following effects if own health is 50% or below. Reduces key by 100 and destroys all cards. That's it's pretty annoying. That's a pretty good secondary passive, I would say. And so he also transforms, right? So he does have the transformation mechanic. A lot of people were either expecting the transformation mechanic or the revival mechanic. I personally, I thought it was going to be revival, right? Because I think revival is definitely needed, especially surviving in this meta. But I'm kind of glad they didn't give revival to God Key, right? I'm kind of glad that they didn't give it to this man just because revival is something that kind of feels needed at this point in time, especially with androids running around every, uh, every direction. So I can definitely understand why they didn't make him revival for God Key specifically. But so we know that transformation units have incredibly monstrous stats. I have a, a good, a very good feeling that this guy is going to be really, really good, right? So upon transforming, he gets 90% of damage inflicted, reduces damage received by 50%. Remember, he also got damage received by 20% in the last, uh, the last paragraph, right? In his base form, so that's 70%. You get increased arts card draw speed by one level. And then every time you enter the battlefield, once he's transformed, you restore key by 30, 30% 30 to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts, and you reduce another damage received by 20%. I don't know if the base form actually stacks with this, but right here, this is just 70% right here, right? You also get 80% to key recovery for 15 timer counts, and you apply the following effects to allies every time an arts card is drawn while this character is on the battlefield. Strike Arts card, 15% to strike damage inflicted. Blast Arts card, 15% to blast damage inflicted. Special, 15% to key recovery. And Blue card, 15% to special move damage inflicted for 10 timer counts. Right, it's not bad, but honestly, it's it's nothing like crazy, IMO. But this is just like um, a summary of what they can do, right? But right off rip, I don't think he's anything broken, broken, broken. So next we have we have Legends Limited Ultra Instant Goku. So this is something that I definitely I did not have a chance to read through this because this is a, like I said before this is a summary of what he can do right. This is a summary and there's more. So his Z ability two percent to strike cards damage inflicted by episode Universal Survival Saga and thirty percent to tag God Key episode Universal Survival Saga or tag Saiyan base strike and blast attack during battle. All right, that's pretty good as well. Unique abilities. Consumes 30% of this character's unique gauge, so he, do, he does have the UI gauge. We've seen it in action. If you saw the trailer for him, he does have the same the same gauge as UI Goku is what I'm going to assume. So he consumes 30% of this character's unique gauge to activate evade against the following enemy attacks while slide moving or standing still. Tap attacks, tap shots, tackle, strike arts, and blast arts. And if it's a strike or blast arts attack, this character will also counter after evading and inflict damage to the enemy. Right, so you will get punished just for depleting his gauge. I don't know how much damage this is going to do, but that doesn't... I feel like you should not get rewarded for doing nothing. I'm going to be real honest with you guys. Right, the damage from this attack cannot cause the enemy to be defeated, which is good, of course. Right, that'd be absolutely wild. Imagine getting killed because you attacked, because you engaged this man. Evade will not activate in the following circumstances, though. When there is no gauge, immediately following this character's sidestep, attack action, etc. When they are normally vulnerable, this character's unique gauge decreases while they're on the battlefield and recovers while they're on standby, just like UI Goku from Legends Festival two years ago. So next, this character, this is what, this is what rubbed me the wrong way, if you will. This character will automatically win most Dokabaki impacts. That's awful, right? So he's automatically going to win Strike Clashes. That is so, so terrible. That is so, so bad, bro. And it, it says most, right? That, I think that's important to know. It says most, not all. So I assume he'll win every Strike Clash. But maybe if it not if it's initiated by like a blue card. If you both of you guys are moving forward with the blue card, maybe it'll just be a normal strike clash. I'm not too sure. But it does say he'll automatically win most of them and inflict damage to the enemy on two forward charging attacks, strike arts, ult well, never mind then. That completely defeats my point right here. Right? It inflicts damage to the enemy when two forward charging attacks, strike arts, ultimate arts collide. So the damage from this attack this attack cannot 
cause the enemy to be defeated. So my biggest issue with this, this is what has to happen here. If he's going to automatically win those strike clashes, he should not get a combo off of it. He definitely should not get a combo off of it. Because otherwise, because like I said, this, this account cannot cause the enemy to be defeated, right? There's no reason. There's no reason for him to get a combo off of it because if you get a combo off and then you're going to be like in, you might be able to get into kill range or something like that, right? So once again, you're going to just get punished for getting entering a strike clash with this guy. You're going to get punished for engaging with him. You're going to get punished for just in, getting close range with him. Like it's just there's a lot of punishing that he's going to be doing. And I get it. He's MUI Goku, but this this seems a little bit crazy, right? There's a lot of games that literally come down to win or lose based off of strike clashes. Right, so that seems kind of crazy to me. He also implies the following effects. His self when battle starts, 90% of the damage you inflicted, reduces damage received by 50%, and increases Art's card draw speed by one level. He also knocks the enemy back to long range if a cover change is performed against their strike or blast art. So he's literally kind of, uh, he's literally an upgraded version of UI Goku, who has the universal cover change twice, right? This can be performed twice, right? Performed, uh, it says cover changes performed against attacks other than strike or blast arts attack are also counted as activations, right? Nullified activations are not counted. And that's pretty much it. So it seems we're only getting one banner. We are only getting one banner. Right, like I said before, I'm going to put all my excitement and all my hope <laughs> and all my optimism into part two. So this is what I have to say to you guys right now. First of all, I have a couple questions for you guys. Do you guys think that he's going to be better than Ultra Goku? Ultra Kyle Ken Goku, that is. Right? Because if anyone's going to do it, it's this guy. Right? And he seemingly looks like he has a crazy... This is, like I said before, this is a summary of what he can do. This is not fully what he can do. We don't have the full details on his green card. We don't have the full details on the main ability, the, the what strike cards, blast cards he holds, and all of that stuff, right? This is just a summary. But I just, I, I'm sad that we're not getting a, a second banner, dude. Right? We've always gotten two banners. And Truth, Truth had even said while we were on stream, Truth had said that the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie being delayed really, really hurt Legends. So I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll do it. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and be like, okay, well, you know what? Some circumstances happen, stuff that you could not work around. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and we'll see what you guys got for part two. I'm going to give him another chance to go ahead and correct this because I know a lot of people are still going to be absolutely excited for UI Goku, ecstatic for UI Goku. But I, I do want to go ahead and say that I would say put a little bit of CC aside for part two. Definitely put a little bit of CC aside for part two. But I think that what really ended it off in a sour note is this guy. So we are getting the Zenkai Awakening for Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, dude. I, this was, this was not the move, Legends. This was not the move. Like, I get it. Yes, Blue beats Red. All right, Blue beats Red. This is your counter. If you guys don't have MUI Goku, just use Super Saiyan Blue. They're going to be Red together. They're going to be Red together, dude. Ultra Kaioken Goku. Zenkai Vegeta Blue. MUI Goku. They're all on the same. I promise that's going to be the core. That's going to be the core. And then maybe with the, well, you know what? And then it's crazy too, because this guy's blue, right? He's blue and the Vegeta's blue. And I'm going to be real honest with you. I, I think it, if, if he's as good as the Legends limited Zenkais we've gotten in the past, this guy just is going to shit on Vegeta, right? Like there's no way. There's no way this guy just doesn't shit on Vegeta. Right? His kit is still beautiful is this kit is still fantastic to this day imagine if they give him cover change notification on like a green card or something or just in the kit dude oh my god i i didn't want him to get a zen i wanted i would have rather ultra instinct goku got it bro literally ultra instinct goku i don't care I, even if it was like a mono purple influencer like i i don't i, I didn't want zenkai super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. I, I wanted Majin Vegeta to get it the most. I wanted Majin Vegeta to get it the most, or one of the villains. Like, I even proposed Kid Buu, right? I know powerful opponent is an issue, so maybe not Kid Buu, right? I know he, that that's a little bit of a, a rough one, but oh my god, this guy? This guy, bro. That is absolutely 
crazy. I think this really just cements the fact that, and you know, I, I don't, I don't like being negative, guys. I really don't. I really like being the optimistic type. Right? I, I want to be. I love the game, man. And at the at the root of everything, I love the game. This this they they could release the worst anniversary of all time, and I would still play the game. I would still recommend the game and all that good stuff right but this is just it's just kind of sad bro i'm gonna be real honest it's kind of sad i think my biggest takeaway from this is i'm excited for MUI goku still i'm not really excited for the rest of the anniversary stuff all right well you know what I i'll rephrase myself i'm excited for MUI goku i'm excited for the free to play units obviously because i do have the special place in my heart for free to play units but i'm not really um excited for for vegeta not that much I'm not really excited for this guy, right? I mean, the other events are cool and stuff like that. I am looking forward to those, but I don't know. Like the heart of these, the heart of these uh, celebrations does come from summoning, right? Comes from summoning. I mean, yes, I know it's a combination of everything, right? It's a combination of everything, events, um, like campaigns and summons, right? I know it's a combination of all that stuff that makes a good anniversary, but when you when you really like look at it what is the thing that stands out the most it's the new units it's always going to be the new units right and so i don't know that's just my take on it definitely definitely let me know in the comments down below what your guys' thoughts are how you guys are feeling about this i know this kind of like rambled on for a little bit longer than it should have oh man at the very least you know what at the very least at the very least, I have 600 Z power. I guess I could get this man to Zenkai 7. Right? I guess I can get him to the Zenkai level and counter MUI Goku. Right? Let's go, dude. All right. Let's go ahead and end it off right there. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.